Actually, y'all bring on top of the She Can't She TV. And I just want to say your girl is looking good, okay? But y'all see from the title, we are about to get into this vlog from the summer. I've been traveling, y'all. And we've been tossing. So y'all hit that subscribe button and let's get into this video. <laughs> okay, so I can explain. If y'all see those two girls that are like mentored by Missy Elliott, I forget their names, but they were doing, they were, they went viral over the summer, so I was running through the hallways of DreamCon, and yes, it was so much fun. Everybody was looking at me like, what's this girl doing? But I just thought it was fun, it was cool, and it's me. <laughs> Thank you to my man. Okay guys, hey, welcome to the channel. We are in Austin, and Austin, we are here. <laughs> okay guys, we're on our way to go get Tina. This is his friend, not mine. He's gonna see this. That's hot here. Okay, come on, When did your friend get here? Like 10 o'clock. Then I gotta rip my feet, does. Stop. And thank you to my man. This is the real world. Now, just so y'all know, Tina is my friend too. He's not just Keith's friend, he's my friend too, so I just want to let y'all know he's definitely my friend too. I just, I was starting to get lit because it, it was my birthday weekend, okay? So, come on. This is like, you're, this is like, I don't trust my man 101. Yeah, it's hot out here, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all don't know, when I get into the heat, I start to like, <laughs> just, oh shit. Okay, so I'm not gonna complain, but I don't like the heat. I feel like the heat just makes you so hot. And in Austin, it was hot. Like, not Georgia hot, but it was hot. And the heat literally just starts to take all my energy out my body. So, yeah, I just was not feeling the heat. And I was just like, no, no, I don't want to be, I don't want to be here, but I want to be here. <laughs> Y'all want to see a car tour? So, this is the new four Edge. Edge. It has a premium back seat, a four doors, touch screen. Look at the navigation, the Prindo. She had no childhood there. Listen, we made it to the airport. We have uh, picked up the, um, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Special guest in the building, the light skinned assassin himself. <laughs> hey girl. Oh, yeah, you know and so Cam jumped in the back, and I was like, hold on, kick. I did not know Kim was behind me when she first jumped in the car, so I did get a little scared. I said, hold on, let's not feel my shorty in the back. But Kim is super fun, super dope. Like, I had an amazing time wearing that weekend. Like, listen, y'all, we, we, we had a time, okay? And we did not even start drinking yet, okay? It's okay. I can get some of my scenes. I can get some of my scenes, too. There's three. Chicken biscuits, steak and eggs, and Texas hat. I love it. Steak and eggs. Energy too. Oh, no, yeah, what, all right. I have a question. I want my own now. Um, what is this one? Real. I was gonna oh, say no, no. Paperboy is a breakfast spot in Austin. And this is the actual scene where we went viral because of Keith. Look, so if you had to choose between this food right here and New Orleans food, which one are you picking? Um, this food, this food right here. Hands down. Hands down. But anyway, we went to Paperboy, we went viral because of a tweet that he put out. And because of that tweet, they said we look like La Cienega, Sticky, and Dijonay from the Proud Family. And I was very offended, okay? Very, very offended. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, uh, what is it? Some other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Any of the toasts for vegetarian, the cakes have It tastes like cough for it. Yeah, I don't know. I need chicken this year. Oh, yeah, you got that. I got it. You had, um... I get the paper boy pancakes with the two eggs. Can they be boiled? Listen, if you want to see the signs of a psychopath, anybody who gets sunny side up obviously has a criminal background. This is one pancake. It's thick. You, that's how you said you wanted your bacon. And so the food at Paperboy though, it was so good. Like I loved all the food. Um, that pancake was bomb. Definitely had to take it at home. But the drink that I had was like a cinnamon toast crunch like drink. It did have alcohol in it, but I didn't really taste the alcohol. It tastes like I was drinking like tres leches or just like milk, but it was really good. I really did like it. And my skin was actually starting to clear up here. So your girl started to feel herself. Just a little bit, okay? Just a little <laughs> that boy got the chicken biscuit and the, what is this? The hash plate? And then I got the 
I, I got cere cereal water. That's what it is. breakfast i definitely wanted to like check out the shops that were on the strip and i was really excited because all of them i really like little pop-up boutiques you never know what you can find in the boutique so i was like let's go take a walk to the boutiques now my issue with the boutique was nobody really asked to help us like nobody was like hey do you need some help do you do nobody asked to help us and that was like the annoying part but um i still enjoyed the boutiques we definitely shopped we tried on some clothes and um i just was over it i was over it y'all but i had i was starting to feel the day out okay i was feeling the day out clearly i wasn't vlogging how i should be vlogging but we were doing the best we can with what we had birthday july 29th big leo big leo okay on that but it was the next day and i was so excited i brought my actual telfar uh package down to austin with us because i wanted to actually open it on the day of my birthday instead of actually waiting so you know you gotta you gotta get cute or whatever and um yeah y'all see me with the pink on i love pink and i was just so excited because my birthday my best friend about to come down i have a few best friends but my best friend about to come down and i was just like okay the party about to get started all right y'all we got sherelle outside woo, 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 woo. we are awesome with it yeah right now like not ready not ready thank you poppy oh, oh. go ahead it's hot. Oh, shit. this is hot. But y'all, I'm not even joking. It's that hot out. Oh, boobies look good. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, talk to him. You can talk to him. All right, so we in the car. What's this again? The Toyota Edge. And we are about to go get the feet done, head to the mall. I think we got a good timing right now. It's not too early, it's not too late, it's only two o'clock. Now, when I told y'all it's hot in Austin, it's hot in Austin. I felt like I had like third degree burn on my booty and i didn't but it felt like i had third degree burn y'all it was just it was it was a lot going on that day but we was getting started i was supposed to get my feet done which i did and it was supposed to look for a birthday dress but we'll get more into that all right y'all i am Draco. i am the pinky pinky pink barbie okay we're in drink on down in austin texas i think i like momo a little bit better come on girl don't okay, so we just get into DreamCon. Like, we just left like the pavilion where we went shopping and stuff. I did not clearly find a birthday outfit, but I did have some good food. They have this Lebanese truck that had really good Lebanese food on it, and I'm a sucker for Lebanese food. Ever since I took that trip to Montreal, I can tell you right now, I love the food that was that was in Austin. I don't know how they compare but I just don't know or how they go together but we end up going to dream con so like I said dream con was in Austin this summer and it was my birthday weekend so it was like you know what let's just go down here let's turn up let me meet your friends because Keith really likes dream con and all that stuff so he was going down there with his friends who had a podcast and um it was just a situation. I think by here I had about four spritzers already. So you start to see me start to act up. That's because the liquor was liquor, right? Okay. Ooh, they got some Ooh, look at him. Black ninja. Hey, y'all. So as we're walking through MomoCon, um, Keith tells me, hey, I have some friends out here and they want to give you something. So I'm like, why do you want to give me something? I guess. I don't know this is one of the surprises that he had for my birthday so we got to meet his friends and they were just so dope the energy was a vibe and like again like i do like momo con a little better but dream con was lit like i was underestimating it at this point but next year we're gonna run the whole thing back we're gonna run it all back for sure <laughs> Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. received. I know y'all probably like, what is it? But it's a tray. Now you can do different things with this tray. I won't go into details, but it's a tray and it has a tap on Titans on the front of it. And I was so excited because I binged a tap on the Titans for like a week and finished like all of the seasons. And the fact that he put so much thought into getting me this gift, I was really like happy. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. So, you know, you put your jewelry and stuff on top of it. All right, y'all, listen, if y'all see me on Let's Keep It A Buck, oh, oh, <laughs> now I'ma prepare y'all before we get started, okay? Y'all see right here? Y'all see right here? This is where it starts to get lit. Now we are with Let's Keep It Butt Podcast. Now I'm in there instigating. I'm, I'm an MC. My heart, like, let me get on the mic. Let me do one too. But when Homeboy got on the mic, everybody was like, mm, he don't sound that good. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Too. So we're actually getting an outfit for my birthday. My birthday was on Saturday. So I don't know if we flew in on Saturday or Friday. I really can't remember. But the next day we went back to the pavilion because we was looking for something to do. And down here, I will actually say where we were exactly at. But there they had mini golf. They had um, an escape room. They had a lot of food trucks out front. A movie theater. Like they have food that you would be like, oh, I gotta go back. Cause that's exactly what I did. I went back the next day. And you know, I just had to whip a couple of butt and mini golf. Cause you know, your girl's gonna win. <laughs> I was gonna win. Y'all knew that. All right, you all. So we are back at the top, the domain because we need to go find a dress. So right now we're going to Zara and hopefully I find a dress. Cause I don't have one right now. the domain like our that was like one place we went to a little bit too many times or we stayed a little bit too long but it was definitely like a good spot to go to before you went to like the big convention center i would say it's a good spot to go to to have dinner they have the mall there they got zara they got fabric 21 they got a lot of stores there that many people can enjoy so other than get my nails done over there we end up going back again i did end up finding a dress in h&m so that did work out and we about to get the party started because the birthday girl was ready like i don't think we end up going home till like really late that night so y'all y'all just enjoy you make me tell my head back for shit okay so clearly we was having a little bit too much fun but come on like i didn't see nothing wrong with that now y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all feel like tion should have tilted his head back for the wine because i thought it was really cool and cute when we were uh, okay, at all, we all did it. Okay, I think the guys 
really just being funny and it was like y'all just enjoy the ride like we having fun tonight come on I got you want to do it yourself yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I tried to Masculinity. Go ahead and put it in. Oh, you cheater! Wow! Come on! Good wife. Good wife. Perfect. Perfect. the birthday song now i really think i could sing i could probably be keisha cole you know a little kate michelle <laughs> but i like to sing myself happy birthday and other people happy birthday and nobody really sings happy birthday the way i sing happy birthday so i like to sing my rendition of happy birthday and then of course everybody had to say happy birthday to the birthday girl okay yeah, yeah. Cheers. Thank you. 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 So good. It's a wrap. Yes. Okay, so clearly I had a really good birthday weekend. Um, the outfits for outfitting, the pink outfit, two piece was definitely from Fabletic. So y'all can click that link in the bio below. The other outfits weren't really like that kaboom. So I didn't really like do a lot of fashion with this trip but i know for the next few trips y'all stay tuned y'all gonna see the fashion kind of evolve a little bit because it was summertime but we worked so much so i really didn't have time to go shopping or none of that but i really did enjoy my birthday i had so much fun i was so happy that everybody who came out celebrated with me um i'm happy i went down to DreamCon to try it out see how we like this shout out to let's keep it a butt podcast okay they go on twitch too shout out to holla my man over there you know but um no we just had a really good time so y'all already know what to do hit that subscribe button comment like share and y'all stay tuned for the next vlog and i will see y'all later bye